How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to create this awesome logo pop-out flip in Adobe After Effects. Firstly, I have a clip here from a McLaren logo with the camera zooming in. And the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the clip twice and name the second layer to Content Aware. And the third layer, I'm going to name it Logo Flip. Then I'm going to grab both of my duplicates, click Alt plus left bracket to shorten them where I want my animation to start. Go to the end of the animation and click Alt plus right bracket. Press Pen tool and start masking around the logo of the car on the Content Aware layer. Then we're going to go to the mask and change it from Add to Subtract. Turn off the other layers and this is what you should have. Add a little bit of feathering and I'm going to expand my mask just a touch. Then we're going to right click on the mask, click on track mask, go over to the tracker and make sure the method is set to position, scale and rotation. Click track mask and After Effects should do its magic. If it doesn't, you can adjust the mask manually. Tracking is done. We're going to go to window, grab the content aware fill and make sure the fill method is set to edge blend. Then we're going to generate fill layer. This should be pretty smooth and pretty fast, especially with the car hood as it's a smooth surface. And this is what I have so far. Next, make sure the fill layer is under the logo flip, but above the content aware like I have here. Then we're gonna turn on the logo flip layer and grab the pencil again, create a mask around the McLaren logo or your car logo in that case. Then turn off the other layers and we're gonna track this mask again. Make sure it is position, scale and rotation and After Effects is gonna do its magic one more time. Next, we're gonna start our animation. So turn on the 3D and motion blur for the logo flip layer. Then I'm gonna click on S for scale, shift P and shift R to bring up the properties. I'm gonna click on keyframe for position, scale and the Y rotation. Move a few frames, increase the scale and adjust the position of the McLaren logo as if it is gonna pop out of the car hood. Then I'm gonna grab the Y rotation after the logo pops up, I want it to flip. So firstly, we have the car logo scale up, change the position a bit. Then we're going to add the Y rotation. I'm going to add one whole flip. I don't want it to flip too much. Then we're going to grab all of our keyframes and we're going to click F9 to easy ease. Just going to adjust the timing slightly for the keyframes. And this is what we have so far. Next, we're going to go to the end of our animation and we're going to add another position and scale keyframes. Afterwards, copy the first keyframe for position and scale and then go a few frames forward and paste them so that we have our logo returned to its original position. Adjust the keyframes to your liking and this is the effect so far. The step we can create is we're gonna go to layer, new, create a new solid and I'm gonna import the Saber plugin which is a free After Effects plugin. I'll have a link down in the description and this is gonna make the effect pop much more. You have tons of presets. I'm gonna choose the Star Killer preset and then we're gonna go down to render settings composite settings make sure it is set to transparent so that we can get rid of the black background then grab the mask and once again mask around your car logo then we're going to go to customize core set the core type to layer mask so that we have the saber glow on the mask i'm going to create some adjustments so you can be as creative as you want here then i'm going to go to the saber layer click alt plus left bracket so that we can start the animation just before the car logo pops up keyframe for the end offset click q Move the keyframe forward a bit, then we're gonna go to the end offset, click 0, and now we have it animate from 0 to 100. Then we're gonna click a keyframe for the start offset, move a few frames forward, and then click 0 again. So we're gonna do the same thing for the start offset, of course, easy is both keyframes. And this is what you have so far. I'm gonna adjust the timing accordingly, but essentially it is going from 0 to 100 and from 100 down to 0. And this is what you should have. You can adjust the keyframes and the timing speed according to your clip. Do not forget to cut all of the layers after the animation is done by clicking Ctrl Shift D. And this is how the effect should be. It's a pretty easy and awesome effect, especially for car videos. You can also do this with other logos. It doesn't necessarily have to be a car. Additionally, you can combine this with another Saber effect like a circular effect around the wheels or a zoom through effect which I have a tutorial for I'll link it in the description and then you got yourself an epic video with wonderful effects so that is it for me guys today hope you enjoyed this tutorial leave a like down below subscribe for more content and as always I'll see you in the next one